Hello, I'm Deacon Mike, and welcome to Stories of Christmas Past. When I was a little boy, my dad was in the army, and we were stationed in Munich, Germany. And in Germany, there are so many different traditions about around Christmas. I remember my mom buying an advent calendar, and it was the first time I'd ever heard of seeing one. I was, might have been about six or seven years old. And I remember doing that for several years, and the advent calendar had in it simple little things like a piece of candy or a small toy um, that you would get beginning with uh, December 1st. And so the years pass by and I grow up, and I don't think about the advent calendar anymore for many, many years until um, I guess it was when my daughters were maybe two or three years old and I happened to be in Costco and I ran across this advent calendar. And so uh, I bought it thinking, oh, wouldn't that mean neat to bring back that tradition that I remember as a little boy? And so I did. And the first year that we had it, uh, the, the girls were probably, as I said, about three years old. And they were very excited because there would always be like a piece of candy in one of the boxes, okay? And so the next year that we did it, my wife Janet came up with an idea. Instead of putting just a piece of candy or a little bitty toy in there, she decided to put a little note in. And the little note would say, go to the dining room table. And on that dining room table, there would be another note that would say, go to the uh, upstairs bedroom. And so the girls would be on a scavenger hunt searching out for the toy or the piece of candy that they would get. And this became a tradition in our family uh, every year um, and continues to be a tradition. My daughters are now in college and I expect I'm going to have to be taking back the advent calendar from here back to our, our place so that they can continue uh, the tradition of uh, the advent calendar.